Only the shot town is bears on the flight. Let me go tune in to keep on the mic. He gon' make sure we get our news and highlights. When you get on YouTube, you better hit the lights. We have some injury news that can truly impact Sunday night's matchup against the Houston Texans. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. As always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Bears fans, make sure you also do me a huge favor by also hitting the like button on today's episode of Keek on the Mic. So, Bears fans, we have some major injury news um, that are kind of concerning leading up to the Sunday night football matchup against the Houston Texans. First off, Keenan Allen did not practice Wednesday or Thursday due to that Hill injury. Um, hopefully, it's nothing serious. I know that DJ Moore kind of made a joke about it saying, hey, Keenan Allen's just an old man. He will be good to go for, for that Sunday night football matchup. Um, against the Houston Texans. So maybe the Bears are just trying to be um, cautious here with Keenan Allen, just trying to give him some veteran rest days. Hopefully he is good to go. Um, and the reason why I say that is because the Bears may be without rookie wide receiver Roma Dunze. Obviously, Odunze did not practice Wednesday or Thursday as well due to that MCL sprain in his knee. Um, and there's a lot of people saying that this injury could have been a lot worse. So thank God for that. Um, Roma Dunze may have a chance to play against the Houston Texans, but when I'm thinking about long-term Bears fans, I think it would be smart for Roma Dunze uh, to sit out the next week or two just to make sure he's 100% for the rest of the season. Zach Pickens has some good news. He practiced in full with his groin injury today, um, so it's looking like he's going to make his way back here pretty soon. Another concerning piece to this injury report for the Chicago Bears this week is the Marcus Walker did not practice on Wednesday, but he was limited participant today at practice for the Chicago Bears. Demarcus Walker is a huge component to the Chicago Bears defensive line and to this Chicago Bears pass rush. And as we all know, if we want a chance to win this football game, it's probably going to rely heavily on our defense and we have to get pressure on C.J. Stroud. So a couple of concerning pieces to the injury report, but once again, Hopefully, Keenan Allen is able to go because, once again, we are kind of thin at wide right receiver, especially with Rome Adunze's uncertain status for Sunday Night Football against the Houston Texans. So, Bears fans, what I want to do today on today's episode of Keek on the Mic is basically go over some things that the Chicago Bears can do to come away with the upset win over the Houston Texans. Once again, it's going to be a really tough game, and the Texans are a very good football team. They're already regarded as one of the best teams in the AFC and one of the best teams in the NFL and also a very young football team. And what do they go out and do in the offseason to make their football team better? They go out and get Stephon Diggs. They go out and get Daniil Hunter. You have C.J. Stroud, Tank Dell, Nico Collins coming back. You have Will Anderson Jr. coming back on the deepest side of the football. This is a very good football team. I mean, this is going to be a tough test for not only Caleb Williams, but the entirety of the Chicago Bears football team. So I'm going to go ahead and go over three different things I feel like the Chicago Bears need to do in order to get a huge win over the Houston Texans. Bears fans, before I go any further, make sure you guys do me a huge solid by hitting the subscribe button and the notification and make sure you are liking today's episode of Keek on the Mic. Once again, I love every single one of you guys for your continued support of the channel. Once again, Keek on the Mic is slowly growing because of you guys, um, but I can't do any of this without your support. So if you love Keek on the Mic, if you love the Chicago Bears, or if you think the Chicago Bears have a chance to beat the Houston Texans on Sunday Night Football, make sure you hit the like button on today's episode of Keek on the Mic. So my first thing for the Chicago Bears in order for them to get a huge upset win over the Texans is they need to figure out a way to stop Joe Mixon. Last game, Mixon had 30 carries for 159 yards and one touchdown. He absolutely dismantled the Indianapolis Colts defense. The Bears defense did give up 140 yards rushing versus the Tennessee Titans. Tony Pollard, I believe, had 80-plus of those yards. Um, So they did have a tough time stopping the run game of the Tennessee Titans. Obviously, they did a really good job in the second half of limiting that Tennessee Titans offense doing anything, which was a huge component of the Chicago Bears coming back and winning that football game. But now we are talking about a different beast in the Houston Texans. Obviously, they're going to try to run the ball with Joe Mixon again on the Chicago Bears defense. Um, but I do think the Bears defense will be prepared. Obviously, with Andrew Billings, Devon Dexter, obviously Darrell Taylor looked really good against the run against the Tennessee Titans as well. It's going to take a whole team effort 
on that defensive line, and especially with our linebackers as well with TJ Edwards and Tremaine Edmonds to really shut down this rushing attack for the Houston Texans. If they're able to slow down Joe Mixon, that will go a long way and the Chicago Bears getting a huge upset win over the Houston Texans. Now moving on to my next point. Now moving on to the Bears offense and talking about our running back in DeAndre Swift. I feel like Shane Waldron and the Chicago Bears need to get DeAndre Swift more involved in this week's offensive game plan. Last week, DeAndre Swift only had 10 carries for 30 yards. We have to feed DeAndre Swift more. If you want to take more pressure off of Caleb Williams against a very good defense in Houston, you need to run the ball. You need to be able to establish the run. And I understand that comes with making sure the offensive line is doing their job up front. But only having 10 carries in the game for DeAndre Swift is not going to be good enough. So hopefully our offensive line can hold up against this very good Houston Texans defensive line and we, they can get the job this week. When you look at last week for the Houston Texans, they did give up 104 yards rushing um, against the Indianapolis Colts. So I do believe there's going to be opportunities there. Even if it seems like it's not working, you need to continue to feed DeAndre Swift. Just get him involved any way that you can. You can give him the ball out of the backfield, give him tosses. It doesn't always need to be handoffs up the middle, but you need to figure out a way if you're Shane Waldron and the Chicago Bears coaching staff to get DeAndre Swift more involved. And I think if they're able to do that and it works for the Chicago Bears offense, this will go a long way in upsetting the Houston Texans on Sunday. The last thing the Chicago Bears need to do in order to get a huge win over the Houston Texans on Sunday Night Football, and this is something that really irritated me watching back of the Tennessee Titans game, is you need to get our tight ends more involved. Last game, you mean to tell me that Cole Komet only had one catch for four yards and Gerald Everett only had one catch for negative one yards. To make it even more frustrating, I thought Shane Waldron loved those 12 personnel sets. I thought he loved those two tight end sets. It seemed to me that we didn't use our tight ends whatsoever. It was really frustrating as a Bears fan. I know Cole Komet was also a tad bit frustrated as well. You need to utilize Cole Komet and Gerald Everett because once again, having a good tight end, for especially for a young rookie quarterback in Caleb Williams can take a lot of pressure off of Caleb Williams. I think Cole Komet and Gerald Everett could be Caleb Williams' go-to guys and could possibly be that safety blanket for Caleb Williams as well, especially with the uncertain status of Roma Dunze and Keenan Allen. We can possibly get a heavy dose of Gerald Everett and Cole Komet, and I think that's how it should be. Cole Komet and Gerald Everett should be a huge part of the game plan, not only this week against the Houston Texans, but moving forward for the rest of the season. This is why we brought Gerald Everett to the Chicago Bears to run those two tight end sets because I personally believe that's a mismatch when you have both tight ends out there. Of course, when you're healthy, you have Keenan Allen, Roman Dunze, and DJ Moore. That makes the Chicago Bears offense that much more dangerous. But it seems to me that Shane Waldron didn't utilize his two tight ends enough last week in the win over the Tennessee Titans. So hopefully he learns from last week, and hopefully this week we get a heavy dose of not only Cole Komet, but Gerald Everett as well. And I think if you get those guys more involved, that will go a long way in the Chicago Bears upsetting the Houston Texans on Sunday night football. So overall, Bears fans, I am super excited for the Sunday night football matchup against the Houston Texans. Once again, it's going to be a tough test for Caleb Williams and the rest of the Chicago Bears football team. But if they're able to go in there and beat C.J. Stroud and the Houston Texans, which to me is one of the best younger teams in the NFL right now, that would be a huge statement win and would and it would put the rest of the league on notice that the Chicago Bears are here and the Chicago Bears are ready to win now. So once again, Bears fans, before I let you guys go, do you guys think the Chicago Bears have a chance to beat the Houston Texans on Sunday Night Football? If you think they do, comment bear down below in the comment section. But as always, make sure you continue to hit that subscribe button and the notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms and make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears that you know. Better than that, be back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Keek on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and as always, bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't Keek on the Mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't Keek on the Mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't Keek on the Mic.